The month of May is nearly at an end, and while there were some awesome releases, June has a whole lot in store for all you gamers out there. So without further delay, here's our picks for the top 10 games coming out in June 2023. At number 10 is Oblivion Override. This Castlevania and roguelike inspired sci-fi action adventure game sees you venturing into a series of dungeons populated by self-aware robots and other technologically advanced entities, most of which aren't too happy about you crashing their little party. Many critics and fans have labeled Oblivion Override a sci-fi dead cells, which is actually pretty high praise if even remotely true. Judging by the gameplay and visuals, combat looks fast-paced and dynamic, and with over 23 different melee weapons, each of which comes with its own moveset, style and traits, you're virtually guaranteed to have hours of fun mixing up your approach and experimenting with different attacks and combos. Oblivion Override allows you to take control of two different combat machines, each of which comes with three unique abilities. It's these very abilities that will allow you to create specialized builds and adapt and evolve your playstyle at any point in the game. I honestly think this title looks fantastic and will definitely please roguelike fans with its flashy animations, imaginative mechanics and curious plot. Oblivion Override enters early access on June 14th, 2023 and will be available on PC via Steam. The game is also due to release on Nintendo Switch at a later stage, but nothing has been confirmed as yet. Coming in at 9th place is Greyhill Incident. If you're a fan of the X-Files, Science or Ancient Aliens, you should love this offering from Refugium Games since it's a survival horror game involving some classic and very creepy black-eyed grey-skinned aliens that have chosen to land in the town of Greyhill in the early 90s. You play Ryan Baker who is equipped with his trusty baseball bat and a revolver as he attempts to save his neighbour and get to the heart of the biggest alien conspiracy in history. Spoiler alert, the government knows about the aliens and has been lying to the general public for years. Gasp! The name of the game is Exploration and, where possible, avoiding the invading little green men who are here to do typical alien stuff like abduct people, experiment on them and, uh, probe them. Yep, aliens are all qualified proctologists, people. In any case, Greyhill Incident definitely looks highly unsettling and weird as hell and should please believers and survival horror fans alike. Greyhill Incident is out on June 9th, 2023 and will be available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And don't forget to wear your tinfoil hat before you start playing. At number 8 we have Sonic Origins Plus. Alright, so maybe calling this a new game would be a bit of a stretch, but as the name implies, Sonic Origins Plus is an expanded version of Sonic Origins, which released last year as part of the Sonic franchise's 30th anniversary. Basically, this collection consists of all four of the games that appeared in Sonic Origins, as well as all 12 Sega Game Gear titles including Sonic Chaos, Sonic Drift, Sonic Drift 2, and so on. Over and above this, Amy Rose is now a playable character in all four available titles while Knuckles will be playable in Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Also, all of the exclusive features in the digital deluxe version of Sonic Origins, such as extreme challenges, mirror mode and additional backgrounds, are all included in the expanded Sonic Origins Plus. This collection may not excite new gamers all that much, but for long-time fans of the franchise, this should be the ultimate Sonic collection and one you won't want to pass up. Sonic Origins Plus will be released on June 23rd, 2023 and available on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and PC. Next we have Trepang 2 in 7th place. In this spiritual successor to the original Fear, you play an escaped soldier with supernatural abilities and absolutely no memories of your past. If you want to survive, you'll have to fight back against the bad guys, uncover the truth and face a sinister threat even more devastating than you are. The Fear influence is very evident here. From the weapon designs and lighting to the ability to slow down time and even the storyline itself, Trepang 2 follows a remarkably similar formula, which in my opinion isn't a problem at all since Fear is still an amazing psychological FPS game that I played several times over. In truth, Trepang 2 seems like fear on steroids with even more insane physics, brutal melee combat and relentless action-packed gameplay that should keep you right on the edge of your seat. If you loved fear, you will adore Trepang 2, and even if you're a newcomer, I have a feeling this offering will not disappoint you in the slightest. Trepang 2 releases on June 21st, 2023 and will be available on PC. Have to admit, dual-wielding shotguns just seems like the biggest flex ever. At number 6 is Aliens Dark Descent. First off, as a big fan of the AVP universe, I'm personally very pumped for this release. Aliens Dark Descent is a squad-based single-player action game in which you command a squad of colonial marines who need to stop a xenomorph outbreak on planet Lethe. In short, you'll need to issue orders to your squad members, deal with difficult situations using strategy and cunning, and do your best to keep your troops alive as death is permanent in Dark Descent. You'll face off against many classic enemies ranging from facehuggers and drones to praetorians and alien queens. Then there are also rogue human commandos and an all-new threat unique to Dark Descent that you'll have to deal with. 
It's basically your job to carefully manage your resources, safeguard your squad's physical and mental health, and research new tech to make your marines even more effective on the battlefield. There are also five starting marine classes that come with a ton of specializations, unique abilities, and weapons for you to choose from. Aliens Dark Descent looks like a frenetic pulse-pounding game that will reveal whether you're more of an Ellen Ripley or a Lieutenant Gorman. Pro tip, try to be the former. Aliens Dark Descent will be released on June 20th, 2023 and available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Next on our list at number 5 is Amnesia the Bunker. In this latest addition to the Amnesia franchise, you take on the role of French soldier Henri Clement who finds himself isolated in a dark and crumbling World War I bunker. But as you soon find out, even though there are no other soldiers or officers around, you are far from alone. If you want to survive and find out what happened and what's going on, you'll need to ensure the lights stay on, keep your cool, and make your way through the bunker without being dragged off by whatever it is that's stalking you. Amnesia the Bunker features a semi-open world in which you'll need to experiment with different approaches to make it out of your predicament. Also bear in mind that the monster will respond and change its behavior based on how you play the game. So while this may sound obvious, your actions do indeed have very real, and often very grave, consequences. Whatever the case, it's a race against the clock in which your ability to adapt and respond to situations will have a major impact on whether you actually make it out or not. Amnesia the Bunker promises to be utterly terrifying and should come with a high level of replayability as there are multiple ways to solve problems and escape the nightmare. Amnesia the Bunker is out on June 6th, 2023 and will be available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. In fourth place is Crash Team Rumble. Whoa! This colorful and energetic game features all your favorite characters from the Crash Bandicoot universe, including Coco Bandicoot, Dr. Neo Cortex, Torna Bandicoot, Dingadal, and of course, Crash himself. There's also a new character called Catbat, who is uh, a cross between a cat and a bat. Anyway, Crash Team Rumble is an online multiplayer 4v4 team-based competition where players will duke it out to collect more Wumpa fruit than the opposing side. You'll also have to defend your own Wumpa bank and capture key points around the map to improve your team's chances of winning. Each hero, or villain, has their own unique skills and abilities that they can use in-game to aid their teammates or make life much more difficult for their opponents. And with a range of different maps that hold their own secrets and boosts, gameplay promises to be fast-paced, off-the-wall, and, most of all, supremely fun. If you're looking for a great multiplayer experience for you and your friends to enjoy this June, then Crash Team Rumble should provide all the goods. Crash Team Rumble releases on June 20th, 2023 and will be available on PlayStation and Xbox. Taking third place in our countdown is Street Fighter VI. Yes indeed, classic characters like Ryu, Kami, E Honda, Chun-Li and Ken all make a return in this latest title, but there are also some new characters such as Lily, Manon and Kimberly. This time around, players will be able to enjoy three different game modes, namely the classic fighting grounds, as well as two new modes, World Tour and Battle Hub. Battle Hub gives you the chance to meet up with different fighters from around the world and test your button mashing skills on a global scale. World Tour is basically the game's story mode where you'll be able to customize and level up your own fighter, learning different abilities and moves from different masters. The stronger your bond with the master grows, the more you'll be able to hone your preferred fighting style and use the moves you learn to traverse the world and explore more areas. Improving and progressing in World Tour will also make your avatar more skilled and capable when fighting others in Battle Hub. Street Fighter VI also lets you customize your character's apparel, which not only changes their appearance, but their abilities as well. Overall, Street Fighter VI has its sights set on revolutionizing the fighting game genre and bringing all new experiences to audiences across the world, which is pretty exciting to say the very least. Street Fighter VI is out on June 2nd, 2023 and will be available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. In second place is the highly anticipated Final Fantasy XVI. Players take on the role of protagonist Clive Rosfield as he embarks upon a revenge mission across the world of Alistair in search of the dark icon Ifrit. Without getting into too much detail, Final Fantasy XVI features a series of enclosed areas rather than a completely open world in order to create a game that feels like an immersive world and make it more narrative driven. To this end, there's also a story focused mode for players who are more concerned with how the plot unfolds than combat. In Final Fantasy XVI, summons are now referred to as icons, and as Clive progresses in his journey and defeats icons, he'll be able to harness their powers in battle and overcome more menacing foes. It's clear that a lot of time and effort has gone into creating Final Fantasy XVI's world, and as is the case with any good action RPG, you'll be able to improve your sword skills and upgrade your abilities to make you even more effective when taking on enemies. As a bonus, Clive will also be able to command his faithful hound Torgle to aid him in dealing with groups of bad guys or provide a much needed distraction in encounters with larger foes. Final Fantasy XVI promises to be a feast for the eyes and an epic adventure that fans 
fans of the franchise are almost sure to love. Final Fantasy XVI will be a limited time PS5 exclusive and release on June 22nd, 2023. The game will be out on PC, but not before December 31st of this year. So if you're a PC owner, you'll just have to wait for now. Sorry. And finally, coming in at number one for June 2023 is none other than Diablo 4. This is one of the biggest releases of the year and promises players the ultimate action RPG experience. You'll be able to take on the dungeons and bosses of Diablo 4 as either a barbarian, druid, necromancer, rogue or sorcerer, and you can either choose to play the game alone or with others as you search for legendary loot and master countless skills and abilities. Ultimately, it's Lilith, the mother of the Nephilim, that you'll be taking on. After many years spent in exile, she's returned to Sanctuary and, for all intents and purposes, is hellbent on ushering in an age of darkness and misery. As usual, there will be plenty of areas to explore, probably more than ever before, and there will also be strongholds populated by demons and horrors that you can work to reclaim for the citizens of Sanctuary. If you really want to test your skills though, PvP zones should provide you with what you're looking for. Simply mark yourself as hostile and go head to head with other players in brutal, unforgiving battles. The potential rewards are huge, but be careful, you could also end up losing everything. Personally, I think Diablo 4 looks absolutely epic and that, if all goes well, it'll be extremely extremely popular with fans and even bring many new players into the fall. Diablo 4 is scheduled for release on June 6, 2023 and will be available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And that's a wrap. Which game or games from our list are you most excited for? Or is there something else you're wanting to play? Let me know in the comments. Drop a like on this video and sub to the channel for more of that good gaming VR and tech content. From me and the team here at Metasquad, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!